Hello everyone, today we will study the base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester. Yes, this is also called as saponification. Hmm? Already we have studied the acid catalyzed hydrolysis of ester and it is irreversible and doesn't go to the completion. Okay, so the alkaline hydrolysis of ester to get the sodium salt of acid and alcohol is called as saponification or the base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester. Okay, and it is not reversible. First, we will consider the reaction for this. Hmm? So, it will be R C double bond O O R dash. Okay. Plus, suppose say NaOH, the reaction is not reversible or it is irreversible. Okay. See here, this bond gets broken hmm? and it is replaced by O N A. Hmm? So the product form will be R C double bond O. It gets replaced by O N A. Okay. So here the sodium salt is formed, or the sodium salt of fatty acid is formed, which is also called as so plus this R dash O combines with the, this hydrogen and forms alcohol okay so this is the simple reaction for the base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester okay so in this case this oil or fat is an ester of glycerol with a long chain fatty acid and this is the alkaline hydrolysis of ester hmm? and it produces sodium salt of fatty acid or that is soap and glycerol okay so once again in the similar way we can establish that there is a acyl oxygen bond fission there will be acyl oxygen bond fission and it can be uh, shown by the tracer techniques using oxygen 18 isotope yes clear next we will see the mechanism for this reaction hmm? so once again it is a three step mechanism yes so into the first step you have the nucleophilic addition of hydroxyl ion to the carbonyl group takes place okay so first we will write the first step that is c double bond o r o r dash this is ester molecule hmm? so here the addition of nucleophile, nucleophile takes place and it is in the form of sodium hydroxide sodium positive and oh negative okay so here see attack of this nucleophile takes place on the carbon hmm? and sodium positive gets attached to the oxygen okay and here the formation of tetrahedral intermediate takes place and it can be written as c o n a o negative sodium positive yes r as it is o h hmm? this o h gets attached to the carbon atom and O R dash okay so into the first step the tetrahedral intermediate is formed okay now let's see the step 2 for the reaction hmm? so into the step 2 here the intermediate eliminates the alkoxide ion yes this alkoxide ion gets eliminated into the second step okay and it can be shown as once again you will write this negative positive hmm? okay so into the step 2 this alkoxide ion gets eliminated okay and this is the acyl oxygen bond fission yes so next see how this reaction is once again, suppose consider C double bond O hmm, R hmm, this OH and here the formation of carboxylic acid will take place. Yes, and this OR gets combined with this sodium hmm, and it forms R dash O N A. Yes, so into the next step. Next step is the into the third step 
the alkoxide ion is uh, and this alkoxide ion is highly basic and it immediately accepts the proton from the carboxylic acid hmm? this is carboxylic acid this is the alkoxide ion yes so we will see the proton transfer step for this reaction hmm? so once again we will write this plus similar r dash o n e okay so into this step see what will happen hmm? this proton transfer will takes place hmm? next this gets substituted by n a yes so here it will be it will form r c double bond o o n a plus R dash OH. Okay, so this will be the mechanism for base catalyzed hydrolysis of E step. Okay, and takes place in three steps. So first step is the nucleophilic addition of this OH negative ion to the, and it takes place to the carbonyl group of E step, and it forms a tetrahedral intermediate. Okay, and to the second step, see the intermediate eliminates this alkoxide ion, and actually it is the bond fission yes and to the third step, step see the third step hmm? this alkoxide ion o r dash hmm? it is highly basic and it immediately accepts this proton from the carboxylic acid okay so third step will be the proton transfer hmm? and it once again forms the sodium salt of fatty acid and glycerol okay so this mechanism or this reaction is also called as saponification or it is base catalyzed hydrolysis of yeast clear